Welcome back guys to the Hip Hop Report. I'm your host Rambo Hustle. Uh, after we released the Double XL Freshman cover, I had a bunch of people hit me up about wanting to get a list that was all females. I got to thinking, who would I even put on that list in regards to 10 females? Do I know 10 female rappers? Like really like that I feel are on a level of being on Double XL. So I asked her out. Malibu Mitch hit me up. She said Cash Doll from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, Megan The Stallion from Texas. Princess Nokia from New York. The Queen Irby. Connie Diamond. Rico Nast. Three Steve's Reezy. Lady LaSure. Let's get to the music. All right, so the first bit video we're checking out is Dreezy. Uh, to me, she is probably the most uh, commercially successful out of the listing that I was sent. Uh, obviously, you see there she got the Lyft sponsorship, so big, big money. She, you know, she has a 2 chains feature. She has the Gucci feature. Her bars are better than her uh, persona, I guess. You know, but hey, it's tough. It's tough to say because now we're living in such a... <laughs> such extreme times that you have to do the most just to get the least and uh but honestly you know when it comes to talent dreezy's definitely up there with the top and she should be looked at as such so all right so next up we have uh for everybody by cash doll cash doll next she's from detroit and uh comes and she actually kind of looks like uh brie miles the model to me a little bit so that's definitely not a bad thing uh, here she goes. This uh, this track actually is, it reminds me of some old school Mob Deep, where like the production is uh, kind of dark, kind of gritty. I mean, her image matches what she's talking about, and she seems to be able to tell a pretty good story. So overall, the talent is there, and I think the views are really close to being on a level of Double XL Freshman List uh, standards in regards to following. So next is the uh, the Stallion. She seems to kind of have raw talent. This video wasn't particularly a big production or uh, really over the top. I thought it really let her uh, bars and her ability to deliver those be, uh, be highlighted. And, you know, let her be a little bit of a star on camera so you can kind of see her star presence. And she definitely has potential. And I think, you know, with any artist, uh, with a little bit of consistency, you can def definitely bring it bring a pretty good uh, following so people can kind of take to her and start getting to know her story a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the fuck going on, man? I really like the video style. It seems like a uh, not as abstract, abstract version of what's going on right now in the video world. It reminds me of kind of like a Jordan... Uh, tower kind of crossover with the new stuff with all the graphics image she kind of looks like a like a young missy elliott in a way he's actually from the bronx new york i believe and not doing too much with the video pretty much just letting her uh, her just kind of live in the camera and become a star now this next one's princess nokia she is a puerto rican girl from new york this record tomboy is um i think the hook is undercooked but I think her verses are really dope, and, and you can tell that she can actually spit, and she's got the presence for it, you know what I mean? But then she's got this other record. I know it gets scary, but you will be fine. She's got this record, and this record to me reminds me of like a 070 Shake from the Kanye album, and just kind of that Fiona Apple, uh, kind of like grungy, emo, and happy at the same time. Some shit like that. Brie Steve, she is actually from Philadelphia. Um, I really love the style of her in regards to her, you know, her presentation. It, it really reminds me of Philadelphia. It makes me feel like I'm in Philly. And she seems to have a very laid back, kind of common, common kind of vibe to her. Now, in regards to the record, I really like the song. Of course, she's got the AI jersey on, so that's A1. They don't know, they don't know about the shit that we do. Maybe one of the few maybe like three of the whole uh package and hon honestly like she doesn't have a lot of views she doesn't have a huge following but in regards to talent and just image and sound and delivery and uh range i think she might be the closest to the full package that we have lady lasure is uh i'm really excited about her because again we just had a new uk artist uh, on the double xl cover and 
she seems to have that same vibe but again she's not subjected to only speaking with the accent which i think is really important because not 100 percent sure the american audience like i said before is ready for that accent consistently now she's got the island vibe and her music down she can i mean she really is a artist that could be one record away from exploding into the scenes go nasty now rico nasty is She's like, um, I don't want to say X, but she's like that kind of grunge, deep, gritty, underground sound that like XXX Tentacion came from. By the way, that's how you say his name, XXX Tentacion, for you people just absolutely massacring this man's name. Um, so Rico Nasty is, uh, she's got a nice little uh, 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 aesthetic to her in regards to being, I wouldn't even say punk. She's past punk. She's not like more metal, more like a really in your face, really like aggressive, like dark rap. It's almost like dark heavy metal rap. Uh, not really my thing, but I know there's a huge uh, audience and a fan base for this potentially. So it's just a matter of whether she can capitalize on it and really bring it to life. So it's crazy. I might give a fuck on a rare okay shit. Also, we have Queen Irby, who uh, you might have known from. Will never stop me because it doesn't matter because I'm gonna. Uh. Her sound seems to be leaning towards hip hop, but her image seems to be leaning completely away from it. It's like the Tower of Pisa. You know, the Corella of Deville thing is not gonna work out very well for us. Uh, I, you know, if this was like the soundtrack for, uh, you know, American Horror Story uh, Hotel Part Two, that'd be tight. But like, you know, the image doesn't, I don't know. I mean, it seems, this is like hip hop for like, this is like hip hop for theater students. I just don't see this succeeding on the grand scale on the urban side of things and in the hip hop side of things. Like I don't see her doing a record with like, you know, Yo Gotti or no shit like that. Now, last but not least, we have Malibu Mitch, who is actually who sent me the list in the first place. I, I almost want to say she's my favorite, you know, from to having a cool voice that really stood out to me as different and not just different, but powerful. I really felt like she might be onto something in regards to not just her image, you know, because she can care. She's probably four foot three. Give us some money. Attitude. Give us some money. She's got that New York attitude, which is what really sets her apart. The deep voice tones, I think, are really strong. Rock in the booth on any block. If she carries that in person, would absolutely sell you on the fact that this girl was going to be a star. So I would definitely go check out Malibu Mitch. I believe that is Malibu Mitch with two I's on each name. So M-A-L-I-I-B-U and Mitch M-I-I-T-C-H. I personally think she has one of the biggest potentials. So uh, also some honorable mentions and artists that are also already very commercially successful. Double XO was to do something like this would be to me Snow the Product. I think she's a no brainer for that. And she is A1 in regards to talent. I think she um, she's absolutely top tier when it comes to rap, like female rappers. Cody Shane, who I saw perform in South by Southwest, I think she's got amazing star power. And I think for her, it's gonna be a matter of how she upkeeps her image, how she, cause my understanding and what I get from her is that she's very real and she likes to keep it that way. But it's important for her to really get good management and get good people behind her that are going to allow her to uh, build the foundation for her career to continue to progress and not get lost in the in, in the sauce, I guess you could say. Shout out to Kid Ink. Got Kivinity King here in Indianapolis is really dope. Rahima McNeil from here from Indianapolis. And by the way, I'm only giving you guys Naptown shit because Malibu Mitch is from New York and that's why we got like five representatives of New York on this shit. So get off my ass. I'm trying to rep for the city too. I can tell you the female demographic is strong and has tons of potential. It's just a matter of what we actually do with it. So with that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Rambo Hustle with the Hip Hop Report. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Peace, love, and hip-hop. Woo!